going on guys, it's Bane, welcome back to another video. In this one we're talking about how sometimes it's necessary to be an absolute fucking savage, right? Now, what inspired me to make this video? Yesterday I was watching um, the Strike It Big podcast and Jason Waller was on there talking with the, um, the guys uh, on that podcast, Mark Twilbury. If you guys haven't seen any of their episodes or their content, check it out. Awesome podcast, I love it. Um, but anyway, he was saying like his definition of a man is a guy who has the ability to slit someone's fucking throat, but also hold and comfort a baby in the same day. And <clears throat> recently in my life, <laughs> like that feels like the mode that I'm in. You know what I mean? I really feel like I've started to be able to not crack the code, but like understand more so within myself, like the, the dynamic that I have as a man of being someone that wants to like conquer, dominate, destroy, be competitive and like win and, you know, achieve things, but also have a side where I'm capable of like caring about people at the same time. And I know that sounds like fucked up, but truthfully, like it's hard for me. That's something that I've struggled with in the past is like finding the balance of that, right? Where I feel like when I tend to people's needs and when I, you know, invest a lot in people and care for them and take care of them like emotionally and make sure that they're good and like when I invest a lot into somebody <clears throat> I feel like it takes away from myself and like what I need to do and <clears throat> it's been hard for me in the past to manage that within like friendships and relationships and business um, stuff like that where it's like you know I care about myself as a person I respect myself as a person and I'm doing the things that I need to do with that savage, ruthless, like cutthroatness that you need to, to really dominate and win like at life or anything. And <clears throat> also having that side of you where, you know, you can be compassionate and a loving person at the same time. And that's something that like, it feels good to finally have kind of unlocked that and be able to flip the switch. You know what I mean? And a lot of it for me, I feel like has come from just like being based. I don't know how else to ex explain it. Maybe it's just like me reaching a certain age and maturity where I've like kind of realized certain shit <laughs> and like stop playing the games with myself in my head and like making shit up. I feel like I've kind of just tuned my brain in to be able to like see the reality in all situations. And I've just like, you know, I allowed myself the freedom of just not giving a fuck about anything other than myself and my goals and what I want to achieve in my life, right? I am the type of person that like, based on my upbringing and the environment that I was raised in, by default, I just, I tend to like be a people pleaser, right? But that has not gotten me the results that I want to in life. And so I've reached that point where like, I have to like savagely just fucking only give a fuck about me. And when something is not like doing it for me, it's like, no not being afraid to say no, not being afraid to just do what the fuck you want and not being afraid to have opinions, not being afraid to like genuinely not give a fuck if somebody thinks something about you positive or negative. Like, dude, that's the kind of attitude. That's the mentality that you need in order to free up the mental space for you to actually think logically and rationally and do the things that you need to do to like get where you want in life as a man, to achieve your goals, to achieve your purpose, to fulfill that purpose, to feel like you're doing something meaningful. Like, dude, you just really have to not give a flying fuck about the thoughts, the opinions of others, about pleasing others, about, you know, living up to people's expectations. I had to throw all that shit out the fucking window in order for me to feel happy and to respect my damn self, which is something that I wouldn't trade in the world. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, we individuals are all that we have. Like I am all that I got, you know what I mean? So if I can't live with myself, if I can't sleep like a fucking baby at night, knowing that I lived the day that I needed to, that I was supposed to in order to get to where I want to do, that is an alignment with my actual goals in life. I realized this shit too, man. There was certain people that I was around where if you spend time around them, bro, you start to think their thoughts. You start to feel certain things. And I kind of just realized, I'm like, bro, these thoughts that I'm having about life and about my you know, business and career and all this shit, these aren't even my th fucking thoughts. You know what I mean? Because I know myself and I know that my higher self would never even be thinking that negative bullshit. You know what I mean? 
And so it's like, all right, those people need to fucking disappear, bro. Like, I can't be around that anymore. You know what I mean? So that's a big piece, too. That's a big component, too, is like, you know, I'm sure you guys all have heard this before, but it's like, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. And like the, the five people you spend the most time around, you're guaranteed to be kind of the average of that. You know what I mean? And that makes a big difference on you. So I've made videos in the past about how you need to kind of embrace loneliness and how if you want to truthfully find yourself, sometimes you need to spend a little bit of time alone so you can be not under the influence of other, other people's thoughts and opinions and shit. But man, let me tell you that once you fucking crack the code on that, once you unlock that like inner respect and confidence, and it's really like, dude, for me, it was just like, I realized that everything in my life is, is my fault. And I had to change if I wanted to get results different than what I'm experiencing in my current reality, right? Your thoughts create everything around you. Switching your thoughts, switching how you feel, switching how you think about certain shit, really makes a huge difference it's super underrated and slept on and i know it sounds cliche and it's like spiritual woo-ha nonsense but it's not dude it's really facts like everything that your brain is thinking about yourself about other people you need to be able to be in control of your own thoughts and when i do in manifestations when i do affirmations and stuff it's always things that build me up it's always i am this like I am masculine. I am in control of my thoughts. I am in control of my reality. When you start thinking shit like that, when you start writing it down every day, when you start programming yourself to be the best version of yourself, dude, it's fucking crazy. All that negative bullshit, all the thoughts and opinions and things of other people that were like nested in your brain and like hooked into you in ways you didn't even understand or maybe couldn't even recognize where they were coming from, bro, that shit disappears. So I encourage all of you to take it into your hands to be the master of your own fucking reality. You need to master your thoughts, master your mind. And in order to do that, you need to take a little bit of time to reflect on yourself, your habits, your routines, your goals, where you are, where you want to be, maybe the people around you, how everything is affecting how you think and feel. And if your world, if your current experience in this reality is not what you want it to be, then recognize that it's on you to change it. No one can do that shit for you. You know what I mean? It's 110% your responsibility to adapt, to change, to make things different if you don't like what you're experiencing right now. So I encourage all of you guys, holy shit, that mailman almost just like bodied somebody. That was crazy. You guys can't see it, unfortunately, but that was wild. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got something from it. Uh, I know I kind of just rambled a little bit, but if you guys made it to the end of the video, you're a real one. I appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back with more videos in the future. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Peace out.